Hi, this is Stephanie Callahan with StephanieCallahan.com, and today I'm going to show you how to create an audio file for your podcast, blog post, products, or any other way that you want to get your message out with audio. Today I want to show you how to use a tool called Audacity. You can see the name up here, A-U-D-A-C-I-T-Y. It's a software product that you can get for free off of the internet. You can do a simple search for Audacity and you'll find it on a bunch of different download pages. To make the audio, all you need are three things. Your computer, a microphone, and the Audacity program. Now, this video is being recorded using the audio that's built into my laptop, or the, excuse me, the microphone that's being built into my laptop but you might consider using a USB microphone as well. So what we're looking at here on this screen is the Audacity program as you first open it up. And there's a number of different toolbars that run across the top, but don't let that intimidate you. Today, I'm going to show you how you can create some simple audio that is clear and crisp, and you can do it today after you watch this video, so stick around. The buttons that you need to do this are right at the top. You'll see the play button, the record button, the pause button, and the stop button. It's really that simple. Record, speak what you wanna say, click stop. There are a few tricks in editing and that type of thing, and so I'm gonna show you that right now. So let's do that. I'm going to click record and speak my message and then you're going to see how it works. Hello, this is Stephanie Callahan of StephanieCallahan.com. <coughs> now I threw that cough in there because I wanted to tell you that oftentimes when you create your audios, stuff happens. Maybe you have a bad cold. Maybe the UPS guy comes to your front door and your dog goes berserk. I know that certainly happens with me when I do my programs on audio. So I wanted to show you what you can do about that. So first, let's show you what you're looking at. You'll notice that when I did the recording, a new line showed up within the software. And all these blue squiggles actually represent my voice. You'll see that I paused for about a second up right up here along the top, count seconds for how long your audio actually is. So you know how long it is. So there's about a second of free space at the beginning of the audio. And then you see that my speaking, you can see the sound waves in those blue squiggly lines. And then you see more space where there was silence and then my cough. And that's what my cough looks like. So if this happens to you when you're recording your audio, have faith. You don't have to start all over. And that's what a lot of people think has to happen. Instead, just delete the cough or the dog bark or whatever else crazy noise happened that you don't want. And you do that by clicking your mouse right where you want to start deleting. You hold down your left mouse key and you block over the piece of audio that you don't want and it'll highlight it as you can see here and then you click your delete key and it's gone now i'll show you that one more time from the other side because i don't want a full second of silence before somebody hears me people are really impatient nowadays and i want my audio to start the minute somebody clicks play so i clicked on my left mouse button and i blocked that blank space of audio and I click delete, and that's how I got rid of it. Now, let's say you've gotten over your coughing fit or you've calmed your dog down from all that crazy barking, and you say, I, I wanna continue with my audio, how do I do that? The great thing with Audacity is that you can. So let me show you that. All you need to do is put your mouse where you want the recording to begin click record, it's gonna create a new stream, but I'll show you how to merge it all together. So let's show you that right now. I work with purpose-driven entrepreneurs to help them unleash and embrace their brilliance 
get their message out with power, ease, and joy, and boldly build a business around who they are. So you'll see what's happened is that a second row of audio, and you can see the two rows here, that second row of audio was added when I added in that second piece. But it's okay because a simple cut and paste will allow us to merge it all together. So let me show you how that works. I put my cursor where the new stream starts that I want to add to the original. Again, I hold down my left mouse key and I scroll all the way to where it ends and I want to stop it. And I say, edit, cut. And let me show you what happens with that second row. All those squiggly lines have disappeared over here on this second row because I cut them out just like you would in a word processing program. I come up to the first row, put my cursor where I want the audio to begin, and I say edit, paste. And I'll show you what happens. All that audio that was on the second row is now appended to the beginning audio that I had created earlier in this video. Then all you need to do is click the X down here to get rid of that second line of audio and it's all together. So let's see how that turned out. I'm gonna click play just so you can hear how it all merged together. Hello, this is Stephanie Callahan of stephaniecallahan.com. I work with purpose-driven entrepreneurs to help them unleash and embrace their brilliance, get their message out with power, ease, and joy, and boldly build a business around who they are. And there you have it. The audios all merged together. So in this video, you've seen how to create audio, how to remove things that you don't want, and how to splice different pieces of audio together so that it's one smooth flowing stream. Then all you need to do is click File, Export as MP3 or Export as a WAV file, and save it like you would any other file. Remember where you've saved it so you can access it again, and your audio file is complete. I hope this video helped you. This is Stephanie Callahan of stephaniecallahan.com, and I invite you to come to my site or to subscribe right here on YouTube, where you can learn more tips, tricks, and strategies to get your message out with power, ease, and joy.